If you clicked on this video not knowing what language I'm talking about, it means that you have not watched my previous video. So go ahead and do that before my mom comes in. Did you watch the video? Did you? Watch it now. Watch it. What's my cane? Where's my cane? Huh? Watch it. Or not. Or not this is gonna be you. Watch it now. I'll wait here. You've grown fat. Did you eat? God, you're so fat. why he is god okay ha ha Your room is so dirty. God. Are you done yet? Watch faster! Oh my god! Don't laugh. This is gonna be you next time, okay? It's our hairline. It's in the family, okay? Jesus. Oh God. God. There you go. Pretty. Done. And that's all on the challenge on my first week. Tune in next week for God, finally. Now go eat. Eat 10 cups of rice, please. Go. If I have to suffer through that when I was young, you have to suffer too. Now we're friends. So yes, I am talking about American Sign Language. On my last video, I talked about learning important vocab like this. I want kids, dirty, old men. And incorporating body language. When I started learning it during the first week, things looked really confusing. I don't even know which hand I should be using to sign. The rule of thumb is, your dominant hand is the one doing the main motion. Unfortunately for me, that still didn't help me much. The destination is on your left. Left. Ah, uh, well if you don't have that problem, then good for you. You look happy and healthy, not me if you ever care to ask. So to help myself learn ASL more effectively, I have categorized them into these seven categories. First up, finger spelling. They are usually used for names. Also for some other words like D-O-G, dog, C-A-K-E. Or any words that you don't know the sign for, you can just spell it out. Number two, number signs, which are really important because we use numbers all the time, like phone numbers, telling time. Can you tell the time? I am not fucking drunk. I know it can be really overwhelming at first to learn so many number signs because there are unlimited numbers, but Mr. DiCaprio, if you're watching this, do not be discouraged because it's really easy to count above 25. 20, 21, but, but, 22, 23, oh, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 
Great, now you've done the hardest set of numbers. I'm not fucking leaving! Who am I kidding? I know he won't be watching this because I'm not under 25. Number three, signs using the first letter of the word. Perfect examples would be the days of the week. M, Monday. T, you got Tuesday. W, you got Wednesday. Thursday, either you can do a TH. You can just do this. Friday. S, Saturday. Other commonly used words like church with the letter C and more useful words like this. Letter B. This category also highlights the differences between sign languages. For example, in Mexican Sign Language, Monday is signed with an L and Friday is signed with a V. Next up, we have signs that are similar to the object or their actions. In my opinion, these are the easiest signs to remember. These are signs like car, think, wake up, helicopter, helicopter, rain, cat, baby, book, gay. Number 5. Signs that change meaning depending on the context. Take this sign for example. This means someone, single, alone, or something. So context is key. In certain situations, I can see how it might be a problem, but in other situations, this could be extremely useful. Are you too old to adapt? Do pronouns scare you? Sign language will solve all your problems. Um, is he your friend? Oh yeah, uh, this is my friend. She uses she, her pronouns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> he cannot hurt me. They cannot hurt me. Say it out loud. I feel seen. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, signs that look similar. Remember this sign? There's actually another sign that is really similar to this, always. Always. The difference is that the movement is bigger in always. We also have other signs like nice, clean, school, paper, which are very similar. So to remind myself of their differences, I like to practice what they call finger fumblers. Knowledge. Nice, school, paper, clean. Last but not least, we have facial expressions and body language. This is an aspect of sign language that I find most interesting and dare I say, most important. As I said a little before in my previous video, Did you watch the video? ASL goes beyond just signing with your hands. From the way you move your eyebrows, the movement of your head, to the movement of your body, it gives the tone, the volume, the stress, the flavour of your intentions. It can make or break a friendship. It's the difference between being rude and being flirtatious and it tells people what kind of a person you are. Are you a fighter or are you a lover? <laughs>